Do you want to understand what your function stack is? So maybe you've you've found out you're an INFP or an I don't know, ESTJ or something like that. And you're like, what does, what does this mean? How do people understand that I'm an introverted feeler or an extroverted thinker? Like where are they getting all these pieces? In this video, I'm going to teach you once and for all how to do it so that you're not spending hours <laughs> going through online research to figure it out yourself. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to play life better. Understanding your personality type, as I've said so many times, is extremely important. Gives you so many insights into your, your skill set, your talent trees, and some of the weaknesses, the areas of your life that you need to like kind of, you know, pay attention to. Make sure that they're not blind spots for too long. Make sure that uh, you know you're getting support from other people to cover up these areas or to help you learn uh, key skill sets in order to improve those areas. In my opinion, it's not about like really um, getting rid of your weaknesses necessarily or, you know, just focusing all your time and energy on improving those weaknesses. It's more about um, how do you leverage your strengths? How do you unleash your superpowers? And how do you still have enough awareness that those weaknesses are not going to just completely ruin your day or life. So anyway, let's get into the function stack right now, okay? I've got my handy dandy notebook, so we're gonna be doing some drawing. I like to draw pictures. If you're an INFP, the first thing you, you got is these four letters, right? You know that you are an introvert, yeah? I mean, that, that's what the I stands for. Okay, introverted. You also have up here, you have intuitive. Okay, you have over here, you have feeling. And down here, you have perceiver. So you have these four different letters, okay? The other ones, E, extrovert, S, sensing, or sensor, uh, T, thinking, okay, or thinker and J Judger. We'll talk about those again as I go through this a second time, uh, just so that you have a, a, an even more rounded, well-rounded knowledge about what this is. Because you are an introvert, this means that your dominant function, okay, the, the lens that you see the world through, the hero of your story, your main class, if you're a gamer, um, is an introverted function, right? You have to have an introverted function first be an introvert, right? Um, and you also know that there is an intuiting, intuiting function in there, a feeling function in there. The P is a sign that uh, <laughs> the P is this. the P is a sign that the perceiving function is extroverted. Okay, the perceiving function is either the sensing or intuiting function. Those are perceiving functions. That's what they're called. Okay, and in this case, the N is the perceiving function that is going to be extroverted. So what that means is in your code, it's going to be, it's gonna be extroverted. It's gonna have this little E next to it, okay? So we know that there is an NE somewhere in there, okay? I put it here right now, but there's, it's, I'll explain why it's there, okay? Because the perceiving function is extroverted, and an INFP is introverted, right? That means that the other letter that's within the code here, the F for feeling must be introverted, okay? You must have an introverted function and an extroverted function as your first two, okay? The, the psyche, the mind needs a way of interacting with the inner world and the outer world, okay? If, if it can't do one of those, uh, then you are, you're gonna be struggling you're not going to be a very healthy person. If you are only extroverting, then you're you're never going to have a, a reference of like, who am I and what is my impact on this situation? Because you won't have any ability to check in your past. You won't have any ability to go internal and figure it out and, and make sense of things. If you are only introverted, well, then you're never going to get any interaction from the outer world. None, right? So you need both. The mind needs a way of doing both of those, okay? So over here you have feeling and introverted, okay? So your dominant function is 
thus introverted feeling. So you have these two functions. You know now your dominant and your auxiliary function, your hero and your mentor, as I call them. And now there's a little bit more kind of mental work that you got to do if you don't understand what all these letters are. NE, extroverted intuition. Extroverted intuition is always going to be paired with SI, introverted sensing. Uh, they're on a like a polarity, okay? And you can just remember this by saying, okay, I just got to switch the letters, the, the dichotomies there, and I got to switch the other two letters. That's it. Right, okay. Um, you can understand more about what those are if you want to check out one of the videos, right? That are, you can check it out in the corner right now. I'll link to one up there. Just know that they're paired together, okay? So you're always going to have N E S I, and we also have F I, right? For our dominant function. Uh, so what's the opposite of that? What's the polarity there, okay? You know, you're going to have a T because there's the F as the judging function. And you're also going to have an E, okay, because it's the opposite of introverted. So you have F, I, T, E always as well. So where do these go? Where do these go within the cognitive function stack? Um, the easiest way to think about it is if you're looking at it in a line like this um, and you're wondering what is the tertiary function and what is the inferior function, Okay, um, just look at it in a line and switch, switch them right next to each other. Okay, in the middle, in the sandwich, inside the sandwich, okay? So right here, we already discovered that it's SI, introverted sensing, and then switch the other two, the bread on the outside, okay? And you have TE, that is your cognitive function stack. Now, once again, what those mean you know, on a, um, on a more granular level, you can do some more research to figure that out, but that's not what this video is for. This video is just for teaching you how to figure out your cognitive function stack in a relatively easy way. You could also kind of look at it, imagine John Beebe's, you know, figure here, okay? So we have a, he's, he's one of the, the union psychologists that's really done a lot of massive work within this field. Um, but if you just think about it like this and you think, okay, so we have uh, the head, the class, my class, my class is FI, I figured that out, okay? And my auxiliary function, my main hand, my right hand, right? My, the, the sword, right? My main hand weapon is extroverted intuition because that's the auxiliary function, right? We already figured that out, right? Within the code. Well, just look, okay, on the other hand, it's going to be the the other type, right? The other part of the dichotomy. And then my feet are going to be the other one. Okay, so whatever way helps you kind of look at it a little bit better. So I'm going to go through this one more time with a different type code. We'll use a judger, okay, and an extrovert. And we'll just go through it fast to figure out how it works, okay? Okay, you'll see why I've chosen these letters, okay? I'm, I'm not just like we need another intuitive and a feeler. It's not necessarily about that. Um, so we have E, right? The person is extroverted. The person is going to be extroverted because the the letter is within the code, okay? Um, so we also know that the, the dominant function is going to be extroverted, okay? And we have intuiting, okay? We have feeling, and we also have judging, okay? So the judging function because there's a J in the code, the judging function is going to be extroverted. And the person themselves is an extrovert. So we know that the first function, the dominant function, is going to be the extroverted judging function. And in this case, the judging function is thinking or feeling, okay? And we know that it's feeling, okay? So the down here, okay, we have one, two, three, four, okay? First, second, third, fourth function. Dominant, auxiliary, tertiary, inferior. Um, you have the judging function being extroverted, so you have feeling extroverted, okay? So then what do people need? What does the mind need? The mind needs an introverted function as well, yeah? And we also have this N within the code, so the next one is going to be the perceiving function, intuiting and introverted, got it? Remember, remember this lovely sandwich here, okay? Okay, we have N, S are always together in some way, and T, F are always together in some way, okay? We know that N, I, introverted intuiting, is the, the one that's within the here, within the code, 
right? And we thus know, you know, if we switch I and E, okay? So we have extroverted sensing as the tertiary function. And we do it with the bread as well, do it with the bread. Okay, we have TI, F changes to T, E changes to I. So now that you understand what your type code is and how to figure out these letters, then you should go exploring more what is introverted intuition? What is extroverted feeling? Like wh what do these things mean on a deeper level so that it's not just empty knowledge, but you're actually taking it and then putting it into practice so that it becomes wisdom right? So that once you learn about it and you do something with it, then you actually get the benefits of knowing it, right? You incorporate it into your life because uh, learning equals behavior change, right? If you, if you just watch this video and you're like, oh, got it, and you do nothing about it, you don't bring it into your life in the next 24, 48 hours, then you're going to lose it. It doesn't really matter. It would have just been a waste of time. So if you want to know more about these different cognitive functions, you can check them out uh, in one of the corners over there. I don't know which one. Keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck. Have fun. Peace.